Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about where I buy booster packs from or booster boxes. There is free shipping here. It is a website called Dave and Adams. All you have to do is Google Dave and Adams and they should come up. Now it is very cheap and shipping is always free and they give you cool stuff as well. So I'm going to see what the actual price is for this. Again, not a sponsored video. A lot of you just want to know where I buy my cards from and I found that it's cheaper to buy from this website as well as other websites, miniature market, sometimes miss prices. I don't think they intentionally do it, but they will honor it. You can get boxes. So I got Conspiracy Take the Crown for $66.87. That's pretty good given the fact that the distribution if I was a WPN store, I would be buying it for $78 or $76, depending on volume. Now, it's not only this particular... You have to remember that there's discounts on top. It's actually more difficult not to get a discount and free stuff than it is to get free stuff and discount. So you get free shipping, you get free kind of janky stuff that you don't really need. It's like Hello Kitty mailboxes and... If you use this website, you know what I mean. It's just like free, quote, gifts, and they're not really good gifts. But anyway, it's free nonetheless. This is where I go to buy most of my booster boxes uh, because I found... So I was... I have a store, and yes, it's open. It's a physical location. We restructured, so we're only really open on Saturdays. We're open one day a week. And we do sell anime figures. We do buy and sell anime figures as well as obviously magic cards. So I was looking at prices. Um, at that point in time, I actually cared a lot more about MTG Finance, especially boxes. And I realized that this website is like a lot cheaper with discounts. There's a 5% discount if you buy more than 500 which stacks with these $20 discounts, which stacks with the holiday discounts. So literally every single holiday they go, for instance, conspiracy is what, $80? Then they take $80, they take $8 off, it becomes 71. Then you say $5 per booster box and now it becomes 67. So that's how you get to 67. Some of these boxes are even lower. Uh, for instance, Rivals of Ixlon, when you put the 5% off, that's what, another $4, and then now you're down to 78. So you're at distribution with free shipping. And if you catch it on a sale, they take another $8 off. So you don't really know, you can't, ex you can't predict what box is going to be on sale, but you know every single holiday there will be a box on sale and it'll be different. I saw all RTR for under 70 with discounts, which is pretty good. Unstable is the exception. It's 120. It's actually cheaper at one of my locals for 100 bucks. I don't know, like it didn't do that well at my local, so they discounted to 100 bucks, and that's pretty good. You can also buy cases, and the cases are like, the cases never go on discount for the special holiday sale, but they're already kind of cheap. So when you compare it to like a WPN. If you're a WPN store from a distributor and you're not buying like so much, you're paying seventy eight a box, but you're you're kind of forced to buy a certain amount. Yes, you get free F and M promos. Yes, you get some other stuff. But when I calculated it all, unless every F and M promo is a fatal push, you're not going to the cost of having the cost of operation, which would mean hiring a judge, perhaps and doing a background check on that judge, obviously, it does, it's not worth it. Uh, the online model, which is what Rudy has and Card King, a lot of this is just purely online. Here you see original Ixlon for 48.4, so that's what, six, that's about 80 bucks. So it's not that much discount per case, it's only 1% more. With discounts, with your 5%, with your $20 off, $5 per box, you're still looking at, so you take another $9 off that, and then that's not even the holiday savings. You're looking at a very good price point to buy these boxes at. I'm not sure how they're doing it. It kind of reminds me of Sports and More, where their prices below distribution. 
So are they taking a loss because they have to pay shipping and because in this model, shipping is free to a customer. I don't really care. I just know for a fact that when I was buying old inventory, when I was on the market, tons of people, California, Arizona, Arkansas, from all over, they wanted to sell me boxes for 80 and they would not move. Many stores are not going to move from the 80 price point because I think that's what their break even is. Maybe they buy 78 and the cost of opportunity is $2. They were even trying to sell me Dragon Maze for 80, which you can buy for 55 on this website. And it's just like, no, you know, I don't want to buy your inventory, which you already have. It's already decayed and no one wants it anyway, when I can just buy what I want. So conspiracy take the crown. I'm just going to go ahead and say it, although it is not good for me to say it. I think it's going to be one of the most valuable sets in the future for the price point. You always have to look at what is the current price. If the price is under $70 a box, that's a clear buy to me. It's, it has a mechanic that is very difficult. The mechanic, I think, is just quite difficult to reprint. Um, it's not going to be... Um, I just cannot see it in like a commander set because you the Monarch mechanic, it's its own standalone mechanic. So here you see boxes are always 90 pre-selling i would never buy it pre-sell because it doesn't make any sense um i like it uh this website makes uh, is where i buy the majority of my sealed product i used to buy tons of inuyasha i buy lots of oh here's another secret uh if you have two different emails just make two different accounts because the offers each account gets i'm not sure why one account gets better offers than the other account but I know that I get different offers from different accounts. Like for instance, my main account gets a $20 off the $250 and that coupon still works. So if you're interested, I used that coupon just a few days ago and that coupon I've been using for like a while. That little code number, like it's still working. I probably shouldn't make a video saying that because that's an additional $20 off, right? And you can stack like... I know cool stuff has very good discounts if you buy and sell a lot. Uh, it's kind of similar, but if you're not like into doing that you, and you just want to buy a one-time deal, this is perfect. Uh, free shipping, free stuff. I don't know. I just wanted to be kind of honest with you. Like literally, I don't know. They're selling for very close to, if not way under distribution price. So if there's no benefit I can see to being a store, yes, even when I calculate the additional promos and lands and tokens and assuming that I give them the highest value possible, it's still not worth having to do a physical play space, right? Um, we're a marketing agency and that's kind of awkward for people. Uh, and to be quite honest, Jessica doesn't want to do it. She told us straight up that, nope, I'm <laughs> not going to do it. So I was like, okay, well, she's our main content creator, so we should probably listen to her. But you can even get Journey to Nyx. This was, quote, a good set by, quote, a awesome speculator. But you can get it for $64.95, take 5% off, take another $5 off with the coupon. That I hope they don't stop my coupon. You're good. I mean, and then even Core 2015, that was Garouk and Buddies. 100 bucks. That was from like forever ago. And then with coupons, you can get him down to 90 or not, uh, 85. So this is where I buy boxes and literally like I, I want Journey to Nyx. So this is Journey to Nyx is $65 not on sale. If it's on holiday sale, they take another $8 off. You have another $20 coupon. You see where this is going. Um, and this happens every holiday. Every holiday, I buy a bunch of stuff until they tell me to stop, and that's how I get more coupons, I guess. I can see boxes not... I will say this. Boxes are not a great investment, but when the expected value... I think Conspiracy Take the Crown. If you can get it for 67 68 which is why I got it for... Leovolt is a $40 card, and there's some really good cards like Savannah and Marcella and Show and Tell. I mean, the Mythics are pretty on point for the most part. There's that really bad Mythic in red, what there always is. But it's got Birds of Paradise, it's got Inquisition, Ghostly Prison, and it has that very unique Monarch. 
I, it's unique. I can't see it being reprinted anytime soon. So here you see Oath of the Gatewatch for 90. You got Eternal Masters for $10 a pack, which you don't want to buy loose packs. You never want to buy loose packs, especially from a big distributor. But boxes are good. Over the gate watch at 90 is not bad. So if that goes to discount the same way Conspiracy goes and it's like 78. Yeah, I would probably buy a bunch of 78 just because the waste. It's a unique mechanic. It's a unique land. So when you talk about cards that might go up in price, well, lands are like number one. Uh, lands have historically done better than every other card type in terms of where it was to where it is today. You look at Rasan Port, uh, it got to 100 bucks. Was it ever as powerful as 100 bucks? I don't think so, but it was a land that can be played in every ED8 stack. So, and the wastes are kind of unique. So here you see Conspiracy Take the Crown. It's back to $80, but previously it was at 67 So if you wait, again, you don't know what it's going to go on sale, but I can tell you it will be a master set. Uh, in this case, it was Iconic Masters it was $129.99. But with discounts and coupons, you could get it down to 105. No, hold on. 100, no, you can get it down to 115. 105 would be ridiculous. I don't know. I, I like these boxes. Eldritch Moon is 88 and 95 on sale. It gets down to 80. And with another $5, it's 75. So you just got to wait for the sale. The holiday sales are really good. I forget what I bought over the holiday. I think I just bought Ultra Pro stuff. This is where Rudy buys his Dragon Ball and his uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. They still have it. They still have, they have like unlimited supply of everything. It never runs out. Like, it, like no matter how hard you try to buy out, you're not going to buy out. It's just not possible. Caldez is 92. I might make a move on Caldez. Oh, bundle, A4 Revolt bundle is only 27. That's not bad. Fat packs are also good here. Miniature market sometimes miss. I don't know if it's a mistake on their end or if they just uh, have very low prices sometimes for like a little brief period of time. But you can get five packs for about 28 brand new. Um, I mean like brand new fat packs. If we revolt, it's going to rotate out. I could see this at $20. I could see it at $20. Most of these fat packs end up between 25, 20 to $25. I don't know if uh, Dragon Maze is the last one, but I do want to show you Dragon Maze because it is quite interesting. Dragon Maze is only at $61 right now, uh, a box. It's amazing to draft. Uh, $61 split among eight people. That's less than a bear person. So, yeah, it's, it's, this is where I go to buy it. I have not found anywhere cheaper, to be honest. Um, well, there's two problems. If you buy it from someone who has a store, they're going to want you to buy in their entire Magic inventory, which is not great. And the lowest price I found is $74 for just like really bad boxes. Like Journey to Nyx should never be $74 when you can buy it shipped to you for $65. And of all the discounts, it gets down to $55. And then if there's another holiday discount, we're talking under $50. Anyway, that's it. This video is not sponsored at all. I don't really care about sponsorship, obviously. But, I mean, this is where I buy boxes from my store. So I'm a store buying boxes from a store. It's like there's really creepy video game stores that are in a mall. And what they do is they buy stuff from GameStop to resell. This is kind of the same situation. Anyway, bye guys.